Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome to Goal Line Hockey. It's Kevin Forte and today we are taking a look at the Boston Bruins pending unrestricted free agent defenseman Dmitry Orlov. What's the future for Orlov? Is it in Boston or is it maybe going back to the roots? We're going to take a look at that today. So, Dmitry Orlov is a really interesting defenseman. He's a guy that's been around the league for a while. He's spent pretty much his entire career in Washington with the Washington Capitals. And, of course, I had to wear my Hershey Bears hat because uh, he was a Hershey Bear for a little while. So, you look at his career, he's played in a lot of games in the NHL. Over 700 games in the NHL, over 200 points. And you look at his numbers, even in the playoffs, he's already played a season of playoff hockey. He's played 81 games in the postseason, so he has a lot of experience, to say the least. And he's gotten a lot of that experience in his time in the NHL since 2011, so over a decade of hockey with Dmitry Orlov on the Caps. Blue line was cut to an end earlier this year. The Capitals could not find a, uh, a way to keep a deal going with Dmitry Orlov, he ends up going to the Boston Bruins at the trade deadline, a massive trade that sent Garnet Hathaway and Orlov to the Bruins, and there was a lot of concerns about, you know, what was the future going to be like for Orlov? Would he ever come back to Washington? It seemed like at the time that was definitely on the table, and as of today, it still sounds like that's on the table. Now, I would assume that the Boston Bruins are going to try to do the best they can to keep a guy like Orlov around. His contract, he signed a six-year deal, $30.6 million back in 2017 with Brian McClellan and George McPhee. Um, it was a different time back then, but he ended up signing that deal, and it was a six-year deal that kept him in Washington until this season. And what ended up happening is, you know, we kind of saw the, um, the casualty of the Capitals kind of realizing they were going to miss the playoffs. And now going into this year, you have to assume that his contract is going to be similar probably to what it's been. So he made $5.1 million per season on that deal. And with the way that contract was structured, um, it wasn't something where it was, you know, it was kind of front loaded. He was making 6.5 in the beginning of the deal with a $2 million signing bonus every year. Um, his base salary was $4.5 million, and then it went all the way down to $1.3 million this year. And considering he's 31 years old, there is that sense that maybe he's just kind of aging out. Now, the good news for Orlov is he had a really good season with Boston. Uh, he ended up having 17 points in those final 23 games with the Bruins. He was a really good fit there. I just don't think they have the money to keep him around, which is kind of a shame. But I think it's safe to assume that Washington would definitely be on the table for him. And if you consider, let's be honest, right, intellectually honest, if he wants to stay in Washington, he could probably sign there for 5.5 and call it a day. I think that's an, a definitely something that is feasible. Maybe five. Maybe he takes a pay cut. Let's say he stays for $5 million per year, signs a three-year deal to take him until he's 34. I think the Bruins would do that, or the, the Capitals would be willing to do that. Um... I think it's something that is very feasible. I think the Capitals are in need of him. Ever since he left, they really struggled down the stretch with him off the blue line. And I don't know how confident they are in some of their younger defensemen. With that said, I think they're still trying to figure out what they can get in terms of this summer. What can they do at the draft? Um, the Bruins are still in a position where they could try to re-sign him. But like I said, I just don't think the money's going to be there. Um... But I think, in all honesty, he's going to end up going back to the Capitals for either the same price or a very low, very small discount or a small increase in his pay. I think it's going to be very close to the salary he's making already. Um, probably, probably a two or three year deal. Take him until he's 33, 34. And that's kind of it. So we'll see how things go. Let me know what you guys think down below. What do you guys think of the Washington Capitals? Maybe bringing back Dmitry Orlov. Do Caps fans want him back? Do they want to see him leave and not come back? I want to know all your guys' thoughts. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you again next time. Peace.